This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. What do y'all make of the Florida offense um, when you break them down? What's the scouting report on those guys, Jaheim? I would say, you know, very good quarterback. They run a lot of screens, a lot of like big X's, a lot of waggles. So just we just got to be able to fit the run. It's a lot of motions, be able to fit the run and know be sound assignment, play sound assignment football. Trey, what do you see from them? Uh, very talented team. Uh, they do a lot of stretches, a lot of zones, things of that sort. So we just are uh, locking in, uh, taking it one play at a time. You know. Looking forward to playing. Uh, there's been some change on the other side of the ball since you guys last played. Um, have you noticed uh, maybe a, any kind of different energy or anything um, since uh, Kenny Guyton moved up to be offensive coordinator? Yeah, I would say a lot a lot of tempo, you know, just just a lot more, just change of energy. So just we just very confident in our offense. Yeah, we, we're very confident um, in the change and um, just going to take it one day at a time, one game at a time. Trey, you've been to Florida for games. Uh, what's what do you what can you tell your teammates about the atmosphere y'all are going into? Oh, it's it's pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest, this is pretty cool. Florida fans are real hype. I mean, but sure, that just motivates for us. So, looking forward to it. All right, I might circle back at the end. Thanks, guys. Go ahead, Bob. Um, Hey, Jaheim, you know, I know you, you got to play a lot of snaps at Cincinnati, you know, had a lot of tackles and, but, you know, this year you're, you're the guy, you know, I think you're third in the SEC in tackle. Just kind of what's the season been like for you? Uh, you know, just being able to just come out and just ball out with my guys every week has just been very motivate, very motivating. So just having to, just having the scheme that we are and just having the coaches that we are has really has helped me and translate my game. What, what do you think you've done a really good job of to, I think you got 74 tackles, and you seem like you're usually double digits leading the team. Um, what, what do you think you've done real well? What's, what's been working for you? Well, I would say my my this is just the D line. You know, the D line keeping the keeping offensive line off of me, and just having instincts to find the ball. Has this season gone better than you thought it would, or has it gone about like you thought it would, or well, how how's that been? Uh, so you know, I have a lot of confidence. So uh, I'm very confident in like how the season been going. I pretty much thought it would be going like. And and Tree, uh, what what have you thought about how Jaheem's played? He's just, has he surprised you at all? No, nah, he hasn't surprised me at all. Um, you know what I'm saying? We know what we getting. That's true. Hey, we confident. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Jaheem, yeah, he coming. What what is it about his play that really uh, really impresses you? Definitely his instincts. Uh, he also is vocal on the field. So if I if I'm looking, I'm looking for the signal on the sideline. I don't see it. He's very vocal to echo the call. A uh, very aware guy. His awareness is, is great. Uh, he comes downhill, smart guy, talented guy, everything about him. And you guys, you know, Florida had to play Georgia last week, a pretty tough game. You guys had an open date. How do you think that could benefit you on just uh, how good was it to get a, to get a break? I would say just having a full week of just preparation and then having a whole nother week to watch the game that they play. So I feel like that has helped us a lot, you know, just being able to have that film study and just – Having a break off really had helped us heal our bodies. And yeah, yeah I'm, trying, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh sure. yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say that uh, preparation is a big thing. Rest, recovery, uh, is ready to un unlock the load. And uh, Jaheem, I'm thinking you didn't go through spring ball at Cincinnati or here, right? Am I right about that? Yeah, you're right. I guess you're you're putting to test the theory that you you don't need spring ball the way you're playing, but. Uh, given that, has it surprised you at all that you've been this productive? That, that you know didn't really. I mean, you just kind of went from the get go. Yeah, uh, yeah. As you know, I just I mean, just trying to shake the rust off and just being able to get back into the game and feel like myself. Okay, thanks, guys. Jackson. Yeah, you guys have both you know had bye weeks obviously in previous seasons, but I have to imagine this is the first time you've. Uh, had a bye week after playing four straight road games during the course of the season. Did it feel like this bye week in particular was kind of needed a little bit more than maybe off weeks you've had in the past, just given the kind of schedule y'all have played this year? Uh, I would say uh, most definitely, you know, uh, just have, being able to have a bye week after uh, eight weeks straight is truly a blessing. So, Yeah, I say it's a blessing. Uh, opportunity to rest and recovery, but also mentally prepare for our opponent. So, pretty good. 
uh, Sam has kind of talked about like, despite all the offensive struggles and the change over there, the defensive side of the ball, even with all these, the, the losses and the losing streak, you guys have kind of maintained the, the fire and, and the, and the hungriness. I mean, how have you guys kind of been able to persevere through kind of the defeats and really kind of maintain your, your desire and, and be a really productive unit on that side of the football this year? Um, I would say just, just having confidence in our offense, you know, just cheering those guys on, cheering each other on, cheering the defense on, you know, just going out there, a lot of energy every time, every snap. Yeah, just uh, just also just motivating each and every one of our teammates, uh, knowing we have ahead of us, uh, going in there very confident uh, as a team. So we just uh, keeping, we just keeping the confidence and just taking everything one game at a time. Thanks, guys. Wrap us up, John. Yeah, guys, uh, Sam Pittman said that he thought KJ showed even like more leadership last week. Um, and, you know, he's still really engaged. Uh, Tree, what what did you see from KJ in terms of, you know, maybe overall team leadership? Uh, KJ is definitely a, a vocal guy. Uh, everybody respect him. So when he talks, everyone listens. So I just feel like that trait about himself, it's just God given. You know what I'm saying? And everybody just open their ears, open their eyes, and just watch him and also listen to him. So, very respectable guy, I would say. Jaheim, your thoughts about maybe what you've heard heard and seen from KJ in the last week? Yeah, just like what he said, you know, a true leader, you know, leader of the leader of the team, leader of the offense. So just being able to just be vocal and just put guys on your back and lead the team. What do y'all have to do to win Saturday, Tree? So we just we just gonna show what, what we capable of doing. Very confident in my team. And uh, just like I said, we're ready to unlock and load. So we're just taking every, everything one game at a time. We're just going to go from there. All right. Jaheim, what has to what has to go well for you guys to give yourselves a chance down there? Oh, I would say, you know, just just energy, just passion, and just being able to just be passionate every snap and every time we come on the field. So just keeping that energy, keeping guys up, keeping, keeping everybody going is what's truly helped us. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.